Hey everyone, I'm Mike from theparkprodigy.com and on today's video we are going to rank every single Universal Orlando ride. That is right, there's over 25 rides on my list. So if you are in the process of planning a Universal Orlando vacation and you're trying to figure out which rides do I prioritize, which rides are on my must-do list, just be sure to stick around until the end of this video. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. I'm not just going to rank them based on um, you know, what I think are really the best rides. You know, I'm also going to take into account the rides that they've replaced maybe in some situations. I'm gonna take into account maybe how um, nauseous some of these rides might get us for people who are prone to motion sickness. There's a lot of controversy around the ranking rides from what I've seen online. Um, so we're gonna have fun with this. And of course, though, I'm gonna make sure to, to get you all as prepared as possible for your next Universe of Orlando trip. So as always, I am very excited. So let's go get started. Thank you all again so, so much for checking out this video. Like I said, we are about to rank all of the best Universal Orlando rides. And this, this ranking will really be good for all of 2024 and most of 2025. This is going to be our ride ranking really up until Epic Universe opens up in some time, you know, of course, in 2025. But for the premise of this video, essentially what we're doing is we are just going to be ranking the best rides and we're taking a couple different things into account we're taking in the pros and the cons of the ride we're taking into account um, you know the height requirements we're taking into account a thrill factor so we will be giving every single ride a thrill rating to give you an idea of you know if you're a thrill seeker you could pretty much make a list based off of this and then of course we are going to have some fun with it we are going to mention some of the rides and if you've been watching our channel i do say that universe or orlando they do have a bunch of rides that if you're prone to motion sickness it can have an impact on you so we are going to take that into account in some places some of the rides i am kind of going to rank based on you know maybe some of the other attractions that they might have replaced in universe orlando from the good old days in the 90s and you know the nostalgia aspect i think if you're going to replace some of you know our favorite rides then you need to do a a really really good job to impress me so that is essentially how we're going to break everything down if you are in the process of planning universe orlando trip and you do need more videos like this just be sure to hit that subscribe button we really really appreciate all the love and support on youtube but let's jump right in and we're going to start with number 29 and we're coming in hot 29 so really the worst ride in universe orlando and we do have fast and the furious so essentially let's start with the good here i think we should start with some positives and who loves this ride well essentially anyone who loves cars or really enjoys the fast and the furious movies i would say you might like this ride and there's a big emphasis on the might now on the the con side of things really the reason why this is so low on the list is there's just there's no depth to this ride i think especially if you are familiar with the fast and the furious franchise or what possibilities for this ride could have been I feel like it just falls short across the board. You know, honestly, it's just not a good ride. The the only good thing for me personally about this ride is the queue. From a thrill rating factor, um, I would say because it's you know motion simulator and because you kind of do feel like you're moving around a little bit, we gave it a four out of ten. It might have been a little bit on the high side, but that's kind of where we're starting. Twenty nine, Fast and the Furious. Okay, moving over to number 28, and we do have Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. Now, of course, you might be asking, Mike, why is this one? Okay, we understand Fast and the Furious, but why is Race Through New York with Jimmy Fallon so high on the list? Well, like I said, because this ride replaced, in my opinion, one of the best rides or attractions in Universe Orlando, and that was Twister. And honestly, when you start to break it down, I feel like Twister was just, it was the epitome of what Universal Studios Florida is all about. Movies, behind the scene action. You actually felt like you were a part of a movie. And so then when we come in, we replace it with Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon, which is again, another 3D simulator that takes guests on a Race Through New York. I just feel like this ride falls flat of what it replaced. And I, I feel like Universal could have done so much better or so much more um, you know, with a, an attraction that was replacing really a classic. And hopefully we can maybe get Universal to bring Twister back if I can you know, get enough people to rally behind me. But really, let's jump into who might love this ride. So of 
course, fans of Jimmy Fallon. Now, this ride is family friendly without any scare factors, right? So everyone can kind of enjoy this ride. The height requirement for this ride is going to be 40 inches. And then from a throw ring factor, it is very similar to Fast and the Furious. We're going to give this a 4 out of 10. Nothing super crazy, but it does make you feel like you're moving around. So again, some guests might not, you know, kind of handle that well. And this is definitely one of those rides that might give guests who would who are prone to motion sickness a little bit of trouble. So moving along, and we are going to number 27, and we have Kang and Kudos, Twirl and Hurl, and now we're really getting into the really, really, you know, calm rides. Um, and so this is an interactive spinning ride where guests control their own flying saucer, inspired by alien characters Kang and Kudos from The Simpsons. So very simply, who might enjoy this ride? This is a family-friendly ride, and it's kind of the Simpsons equivalent of um, Dumbo. So the height requirements are very, very flexible. There are actually no height requirements. However, guests under 48 inches will need to have supervision, and the thrill rating factor for Kang and Kudos, Twirl and Hurl is going to be 2 out of 10. I also think that the ambiance of um, Springfield, USA, does add to this ride a little bit, so take that with a grain of salt. Over to number 26, and we do have Storm Force acceleration and this is a spinning teacup style ride with superhero theming where guests control the spinning motion where they help storm from the x-men fight magneto so who might enjoy this ride just like it sounds families visiting universe orlando with young kids and of course die hard x-men fans now the other cool thing about this one is again there is no minimum height requirement however guests under 14 inches tall must be supervised by a companion. The throw rating factor here is 2 out of 10, and you could see there's just nothing that really blows us away about this ride. All right, so moving over to number 25, and we do have the Carousel, and this is a whimsical carousel featuring Dr. Seuss characters and designs, providing a colorful and family-friendly experience. The Carousel Cell actually went through a refurb not so long ago, and of course, who would love this ride? Mostly families with young kids. You can see we're kind of getting through all of the slower rides at Universal. There's no minimum height requirement for the Carousel Cell, and on the thrill rating factor, we do have a one out of 10, so not that thrilling. And then moving over to number 24, we have one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. This is over in Islands of Adventure, and it is an interactive ride where guests control their ride vehicles to avoid water spouts based on Dr. Seuss's one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Who loves this ride? Families visiting with young kids. There's no minimum height requirement on this one. There's nothing that really blows us away on this one either. Very, very simply, it just is, again, a kind of Dumbo-esque ride. And the throw rating factor here is going to be 2 out of 10. And now we're getting into the fun stuff. Over at number 23, we do have Dudley Do-Right Ripshaw Falls. Now, this is another classic wet ride. This log plume ride takes guests through twists and turns, ending in a 75-foot drop and you are sure to get soaked on this ride. And really, when we start to look at who would love it, anyone who really would love that log flume type of ride, but older generations will really enjoy it because of the references to the classic cartoons, right? On the con side of things, though, I think one of the things that might surprise people is just how soaked that you will get. And then, so taking it one step further, for the height requirements, we do have a minimum height requirement of 44 inches. But I will say, with the main drop throughout the ride, we did give this a thrill factor of uh, 6 out of 10. All right, over to number 22, and we do have Popeye and Bluto's Blige Rat barges and so this is another classical wet ride which puts guests in a group of people in a large circular spinning raft and tosses them up and down a river with lots of water obstacles waiting to soak them again for guests who love to get wet in the theme parks you will simply love you know number 23 and number 22 on our list however for guests who do not you definitely will not enjoy these rides so the minimum height requirement on popeye and bluto's is going to be 42 inches tall and then from a thrill rating standpoint just because you are kind of getting tossed around a little bit and of course you are not going to know when you are going to get soaked we gave this a thrill rating of four out of ten over to number 21 and this says a lot the cat in the hat actually beat out both of the water rides over in Universe Orlando, and we do have the Cat in the Hat ride. So guests will travel through the Cat in the Hat storybook on this Omnimover ride made to look like your couch. Now, this ride is a wacky, dark ride, which is perfect for family or kids who love the famous storybook. Now, I will say this is one of our favorite rides over at Islands of Adventure when we're trying to just get out of the hot Florida sun. Now, of course, who would love this ride? Well, of course, families who are visiting with smaller kids, and the minimum height requirement for Cat in the Hat is going to be 36 inches tall from a thrill rating standpoint it is going to be low it's going to be two out of ten okay so moving over to number 20 and we do have the high in the sky seuss trolley train ride now this is a gentle 
elevated ride offering scenic views of Seuss Landing and other themed areas. Now, this also features narration from characters from the Dr. Seuss stories. So, of course, this is going to be a great ride for families visiting Universal with young kids. And the minimum height requirement for these high in the sky Seuss trolley is going to be 36 inches tall. We would say this is also one of our favorite rides for guests and for families who are trying to get, you know, good pictures of the parks. You really have some amazing aerial views of islands of adventure park and we have said this in one of our other videos um, you know best ways to hit universal at night this is one of our favorite rides to hit universal orlando at night and especially around um, sunset so from a thrill rating standpoint though we are only giving it a two out of ten it is on the commerce side of things however that is in at number 20 over to number 19 and we do have the simpsons ride over at Universal Studios Florida. Now, of course, this ride could have been a little bit higher on the list, especially when you tie in the Simpsons characters who are so very, very popular. This is another one of those rides, though, that is a little bit further down on the list just because it replaced Back to the Future, which, again, in my opinion, if you remember Universal Studios Florida from the 90s, that was a classic ride, just old school nostalgia feels. Now, I will say on the flip side, even if Back to the Future was still around today, just from a, a motion sickness standpoint, I don't know if I would be going on that ride. So I guess maybe we're taking it a little bit too hard on The Simpsons, but they, in, they are in at number 19 and essentially guests can enjoy a motion simulator ride featuring their favorite Simpson characters, which is taking guests on a wild adventure through crusty land with humor and thrills. So who might enjoy this ride? Well, just like it sounds, if you grew up watching The Simpsons, you're going to want to ride this attraction. And the minimum height requirement for The Simpsons ride is going to be 40 inches tall. And we gave us a thrill rating factor of five thrills out of 10. Okay, moving over to number 18, and we do have Flight of the Hippogriff over in Isles of Adventure Park. This is a family-friendly roller coaster that simulates simulates a hippogriff training flight, providing a magical experience for younger riders. It is a great starter coaster, and of course, it is within the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And then taking it one step further, the height requirements for Flight of the Hippogriff are going to be 36 inches tall, and we gave this a thrill rating factor of 4 out of 10. Now over to number 17, one of the newest attractions over in Universal Studios. Orlando Resort, and we do have Villacon Minion Blast. Now, this is an interactive dark ride where guests join the minions in a chaotic mission at Villacon using special weapons to blast away obstacles and enemies. And the reason why we're linked it so low is because we do have to stand the whole time, and we do think that you do need to be prepared for that, especially if you're waiting online and then you get to the attraction and like you're expecting to have a little bit of a break and then you realize oh like why well, i have to just stand up the entire time now and that might take away from the ambiance a little bit just a little bit but who might enjoy this ride and this ride is designed for everyone adults teens tweens kids under seven it's a family-friendly attraction that promises a unique and interactive experience making it stand out in universal studios florida so the height requirements are essentially just going to be universal just says handheld infants are not permitted on the ride anyone under 14 inches tall do need to be supervised by a companion and then the thrill rating factor here is going to be a four out of ten and this is going to be different from the other motion simulator rides that we gave a four out of ten too this is more so going to be just because you're going to be looking around and you're going to be you know trying to figure out you know, where do you shoot all right in at number 16 and this might surprise some guests that this is this high on the list but we do have et adventure and of course this is over at universal studios florida so et is a family friendly dark ride where guests board motorcycles to help et escape from authorities and save his home planet now this might be one of the rides on the list that we are keeping a little bit higher just because of the nostalgia feel I have said this many times in our videos that this is actually the only opening day attraction left in the theme parks, well, specifically in Universal Studios Florida. So we feel like the nostalgia aspect has to kind of tie into into this ride a little bit. So who, who is going to love this ride? Well, essentially everyone. Anyone who remembers Universal Studios Florida from the 90s, anyone who is looking for a slower ride at Universal that everyone can enjoy, they're going to love E.T. So the minimum height requirement is going to be 34 inches tall. And from a thrill rating standpoint, we're kind of coming in at a 3 out of 10. So not over the top thrilling, but again, I think that's kind of what you're looking for when you think of this ride. Over to number 15, and we do have this big me, Minion Mayhem. So this is a motion simulator ride where guests join Gru and the minions on a mission experiencing the chaotic and humorous world of this typical me franchise. So this is again another big screen. You're not really moving around, but Universal's giving you the appearance that you are moving around. But I will say this is a really, really 
a fun ride. When you start to think about it and you kind of start to compare like Jimmy Fallon and the Minions, I just feel like there's a little bit more fun that goes into the Minions ride. I just think the characters are more, you know, appealing. They appeal more to families who are visiting Universe to Orlando. And I think that when you just break it down, you know, because I think those two rides are very similar on a ride basis, who essentially would love this ride. And of course, like it sounds, and like I said, this is the perfect ride for families visiting Universal Orlando, perfect ride for families who enjoy the Minions, the Minion franchise, stuff like that. But there is a height requirement for this ride, which is 40 inches tall. And on a thrill rating factor, just like some of the other motion simulators to this point, we do have a thrill factor of four out of 10. Okay, so moving over to number 14, and we do have the very, very infamous and popular Hogwarts Express, of course, from that Universal Orlando Park to Park ticket. So the Hogwarts Express is a train ride between Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure Park, providing a magical journey with scenes inspired by the Harry Potter series. Now, one of the things that I personally love about the Hogwarts Express and why I think it does have to be you know, in the top tier of the best Universal Orlando rides is it does have a different experience both ways. So from Hogsmeade to Diagon Alley, you have one you know, ride experience, and then from um, Diagon Alley back over to Hogsmeade, you have another ride experience. And I think when you look at it like that, Yo, know, and you're really getting the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to tickets. I do think that this this exactly where the Hogwarts Express needs to be. Now, from a thrill rating factor, is it over the top thrilling? Absolutely not. But from a Harry Potter fan perspective, I mean, there's honestly, as a fan myself, there's really not much that I don't enjoy about this ride. Luckily, there are no height requirements for this ride, and it will take you from park to park. So this is another one. It's like, hey, the convenience of it, you know, um, why would we not hop on the Hogwarts Express if you're hopping over to Islands of Adventure? From a thrill rating standpoint, we are giving it a 2 out of 10. Okay, so over to number 13, and we do have Men in Black Alien Attack. And this is another one of those rides. It is a little higher on the list just because of the nostalgia feel. I think this is now at this point kind of cemented as one of the classic Universal Studios Florida rides. And this is an interactive ride where guests join Men in Black to fend off an alien invasion using laser guns. So we did put this a little bit higher than the new Minions um, ride, which is, again is another kind of shooting ride. And the Minions ride does have really, really amazing technology, right? What we felt was, again, you can get you get to sit down on Men in Black, honestly. It's, it's that simple. The height requirements for Men in Black are going to be 42 inches tall. And from a thrill rating standpoint, just because you are moving um, really throughout the ride and it does spin you around a little bit, we gave this a thrill rating factor of 5 out of 10. All right, so in at number 12 of ranking all of the rides at Universal Orlando Resort, and we do have Transformers the Ride 3D. And that 3D is very, very important to understand when it comes to Transformers, again, because this is a motion simulator ride, and it will really make you feel like you are moving through the streets and just like it sounds this is a great ride for transformers fans and it has a ton of easter eggs and different characters throughout the ride that you will recognize from the transformers this ride also has a really really cool uh, character meet and greet outside so be sure to keep an eye on that and the height requirements for transformers the ride is going to be 40 inches tall and from a thrill rating standpoint this is a motion simulator, but it's different from the other motion simulators that we have spoken about to this point, where you really feel like you're gonna be moving around. And for that reason, we did give it a thrill rating factor of six out of 10. In at number 11, and we do have Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Now, this is one of those rides, we probably could have put this a little bit higher on the list. However, we just felt like there are a lot of really, really amazing rides that we are gonna talk about very, very soon. So in at number 11, we do have Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. So this is a high-speed roller coaster with a unique feature allowing riders to choose their own soundtrack from a selection of songs. And I will say that that is, in, the song aspect is something that's so cool and unique to this ride just because you really do, you can get a different experience every time time just based on the different type of song that you might choose. Now, also the other cool thing about this ride is it does have a secret song list that guests can pick from. So who might enjoy this ride? Just like it sounds, teens, adults who are, love thrill rides, you're going to really, really love Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. It does have a height requirement of 51 inches tall. From a thrill rating standpoint, we did give this ride an eight out of 10. Now, if it would have went upside down or if it did go upside down, probably would have been a little bit higher on the list. Over to number 10, we have Jurassic Park. Park River Adventure, and again, this, you know, we're having fun with this. This is one of those rides that, from a thrill standpoint, probably could have been a little bit lower on this list. But from a Jurassic Park standpoint, I think the theming of this ride is so over the top. And even though you know, there's another ride that we will talk about in a little bit that's really, really popular. 
from a theming standpoint, I just think the theming of Jurassic Park River Adventure really, really kind of ties into re to the Jurassic Park franchise so perfectly. On Jurassic Park River Adventure, you might, you know, be kind of come out without getting wet at all. It's, it's, it's a really, really weird um, <laughs> kind of situation. But the minimum height requirement here is going to be 36 inches tall, and we gave this a thrill rating factor of 5 out of 10, but it's really only that 85 foot drop. Everything else on this ride is really, really calm and just very, very enjoyable. Okay, in at number nine of ranking the rides over at Universal Orlando Resort, and we do have Skull Island Reign of Kong. Now, this is a this is a 3D ride and an outdoor expedition taking guests deep into the heart of Skull Island to encounter King Kong and other prehistoric creatures. Now, technology on this ride is really, really cool. From the height requirement here, it, we do have 36 inches tall, and from a thrill rating standpoint, just because you are really getting moved around a little bit more, and again, there are gonna be certain ports of this this ride where Kong will kind of appear and it will be a little bit over the top. We gave this a throw rating factor of 5.5 out of 10. All right, so moving over to number eight, and we do have Dr. Doom's Fearful over in Islands of Adventure. And this is a drop tower ride that essentially doesn't drop you, but it really launches you up into the skies. When you look past the, uh, you know, the adrenaline factor of this ride, once you get up there, you have some amazing views of the Orlando theme park, you know, kind of area around Universal Studios. And I think that's really, really cool. From a height requirement standpoint, we do have a minimum height requirement of 52 inches tall. And from a thrill rating standpoint, we do have 6.5 out of 10, so we're getting up there with the thrills. Now, over to number seven, and we have a classic at Universal Studios Florida, and that is Revenge of the Mummy. Now, this is a high-speed indoor roller coaster with immersive theming, featuring special effects and animatronics while exploring the cursed world of the mummy. And some guests might be wondering, like, hey, Mike, why is Revenge of the Mummy higher than um, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket? And really, from the theming standpoint, that's why we're putting it a little bit higher on the list. And of course, younger kids may be able to make the height requirement, but just understand that going in that this is indoors, so it can be a little deceiving, but this is definitely a fast-moving ride with a minimum height requirement of 48 inches tall. And when we jump into the throw rating factor, we do have a throw rating factor of 7 out of 10. Again, just because it is indoors, we kind of you know pulled it back a little bit. It's not as intense as some of the outdoor coasters, but it is still, honestly, one of the best rides in the parks. Over to number 6 and a ride with a lot of controversy around it, and that is Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Now, I did a ranking video of the best rides the best Harry Potter rides, essentially. And I gave Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey the ranking of the worst ride. And for the very simple fact that from a uh, motion simulator standpoint, from a motion sickness standpoint, I think this is by far one of the worst rides in all of the theme parks that I have ever been on. But when we really start to break it down and we start to look at the theming of this ride and everything, um, you know, from a Harry Potter stand fan point, of course, it did have to be higher on this list. Now, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey is a unique motion system with 3D technology, taking guests on a journey through iconic scenes from the Harry Potter series. We also have to kind of tie in the queue for this ride, which is through Hogwarts Castle. And we do think that that is an amazing experience in itself. And you can actually walk through the queue and not get on this ride. So if you do have Harry Potter fans in your family, be sure to go and check that out. Cause again, I'm not, I'm over, I'm not over hyping the queue. I do think that Universal did an amazing job. And I think for Harry Potter fans, it's everything that you would, you know, kind of hope for and something that you do want to experience. So who would love this ride? Well, of course, just like we said, Harry Potter fans will geek out as they travel through the castle, but everyone will love soaring through the ride that puts you in the middle of the action. From a thrill rating standpoint, we gave this an eight out of 10. All right, over to number five, and we do have The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. So this is a 3D ride where guests will join Spider-Man in a high-tech vehicle, swinging through New York City to battle villains. And again, just like it sounds, this ride is really, really high on the list just because of the, the pure fact that Spider-Man is such a popular um, character. Who's gonna love this ride? Of course, just like it sounds, classic Marvel fans, and especially classic fans who remember the old school um, you know, comic books, really the way that they were written. So. This ride is another motion simulator. This is very similar to the Transformers ride. And I would say it's this ride is higher on the list, again, like I said, just because of the simple fact that it does have Spider-Man. The height requirements over here are gonna be 48 inches tall. And from a thrill rating factor, we did give Spider-Man a 6.5 out of 10. Okay, in at number four, and we do have the Incredible Hulk coaster. So this giant green coaster can be seen from practically anywhere in Islands of Adventure Park. And this is really one of those old school, when you think of a roller coaster in your mind, you're gonna see the Incredible Hulk coaster. So this has one giant launch 
where it's shooting guests out onto the ride. Guests who are looking for those thrills, this is going to be the perfect ride for your next Universal Orlando vacation. So who loves it? Just like we said, anyone who can't get enough roller coasters, anyone who's a fan of Marvel, who's a fan of the Hulk, you're going to definitely want to go and check out the Incredible Hulk coaster. It does have a minimum height requirement, and it is one of the taller ones in the park at 54 inches tall. And from a thrill rating standpoint, this is pretty high on the list. This is almost as high as it gets, and we are in at a 9 on the thrill rating factor. But we are moving along over to number 3 of ranking the best rides at Universal Orlando Resort and we do have Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts and this is a multi-dimensional indoor coaster bringing guests through the vaults of Gringotts Bank with encounters from their favorite Harry Potter characters. We gave a lot of credit to the mummy but taking it one step further Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts the theming of this ride is insane. Who's gonna love this ride? Well every Harry Potter fan and if taking it one step further thrill seekers will really really enjoy this ride as well. The minimum height requirement here is going to be 40 inches tall and from a thrill rating standpoint it's kind of right in line with where the mummy is it's going to be 7.5 out of 10. okay so getting into the fun stuff we're down to the top two rides at universal orlando resort and this really one egg this could go either way depending on the type of mood that i personally am in and i feel like a lot of families watching at home will probably feel the same way once they go and check out these two rides but in at number two we do have the jurassic world velocicoaster and this is an intense roller coaster experience featuring during high speed launches, inversions, and encounters with life sized animatronic dinosaurs from Jurassic World. This is by far the best thrill ride in Universal Orlando Resort. Every single person I talk to that goes on this ride, they're like, they're blown away by this ride. So who's gonna love it just like it sounds? Every roller coaster enthusiast out there is chomping at a bit to hop aboard this one of a kind roller coaster. From a height requirement standpoint, we do have a minimum height requirement of 51 inches tall. And from a thrill rating standpoint, this ride is a perfect 10 out of 10. And I don't think we are overhyping it. I think it legitimately is a 10 out of 10, and I think it is simply a must-do for every single family who loves thrill rides visiting Universal Orlando. Okay, so that brings us in at number one, and of course, we do have Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, and this is a thrilling roller coaster ride featuring groundbreaking technology and encounters with magical creatures from the Harry Potter series. And one important thing to note here is this by far is the longest wait time in Universal Orlando Resort, and I think that speaks volumes, you know, really why they this is the considered quote unquote the best ride at Universal Orlando Resort. Now, I will say that, you know, this is a roller coaster, but when I said like the, the Velocity Coaster is my favorite roller coaster, just because Hagrid's is a coaster, but not in the true sense of what you think in your mind. Like there are multiple points throughout this ride where you're going to stop. And but when you stop, the theming around you from a Harry Potter fan standpoint is immaculate like everything around you like you'll you'll want the ride to stop just because you want to see like oh what scene from the harry potter movies am i in now when it comes to the Velocicoaster, coaster you don't want that ride to stop like it is so you know intense and like you're having so much fun you're just like yeah shoot shoot me off again but when it comes to hagrid's magical creatures like i said it is a perfect mix of theming and adrenaline and obviously i feel like there's a lot of other people who agree with me and that why and that's why it is so high on the list. Now, who's going to love this ride? Like I said, older Harry Potter fans that love the thrills and excitement of roller coasters. And this ride does have a minimum height requirement of 48 inches tall. From a thrill rating standpoint, like I said, this ride doesn't go upside down or anything like that. So it is going to be less than the Velocicoaster. And we have a thrill rating of 8 out of 10 for Hagrid's Magical Creatures. But that is the list, everyone. Those are ranking the best attractions at Universal Orlando Resort. I really, really hope that you found this video helpful. I'm curious if you guys agree with me, you don't agree with me. And like I said, if you are in the process of planning a Universal Orlando trip and you do need a little additional help, just be sure to go check out our website, The Park Prodigy. Com. And as a thank you for sticking around all the way until the end of this video, if you are in the process of planning and you're still booking Universal Orlando tickets or vacation packages, I do have a special coupon code that you can use on our website to save an extra $25 off. That coupon code is going to be YouTube25. But I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you all again so, so much for checking out this video. And until next time, I will talk to you soon.